old city and the capital of East Kistan. Because of the healthy climate, high agricultural production and its industrial development, Dhaka, with 1,600 people to the square mile, is the most densely populated area of this densely populated land. It stands on the left bank of the Buri Ganga, a tributary of the Dalashiri River which flows from the Brahmaputra into the Meghana, two of the three main rivers that flow across the lower Gangetic Plain. East Pakistan is a land of rivers, and water transport plays an important part in the lives of the people and the economy of the country. There are some 2,500 miles of navigable waterways on which regular steamers ply. Hundreds of smaller boats use these waterways too for the transport of local goods. And during the rainy season, when flood water spreads over large areas of the plain, boats are often the only means of travel. In the floodplains of the active rivers are the jute fields, where more than half the world's supply of jute is grown and harvested. Jute, the cheapest fibre for bagging and baling, is sown in spring and harvested in the autumn, thriving in the hot, damp climate and heavy rainfall and on the fertile, sandy soil. After the jute is cut, it's stacked into rafts for towing down the rivers the men often wading up to their necks in the floodwaters or swimming in the main streams. Down river, where labour is plentiful, the rotted cane is stripped and the fibres washed and dried, ready for transport to the jute spinning and weaving factories of Dhaka and other towns. Jute, the golden fibre, is East Pakistan's main cash crop and the most important of Pakistan's exports to the Western world. Along many river banks can also be found extensive frames where bitter gourds are grown. The climate of East Pakistan favours tropical and subtropical fruits, bananas, mango, pineapple and mandarins. Rice is the staple food of the region. Needing a warm climate, and standing water at its roots, rice flourishes in East Pakistan, especially in the flood water areas in the plain. The main rice crop is a winter crop, harvested in November or December, but often, as here, a first August crop will be gathered, dependent upon the light summer rains in the earlier period of growth. Large acreages, formerly under jute, have been turned over to rice, but even so, some rice has to be brought in from West Pakistan. The villages in East Pakistan are very different from those in the West. Great quantities of silt, deposited by the rivers, have raised many parts above the surrounding country. During the rains, waters overflow their banks and spread over hundreds of square miles. It's almost impossible to build bridges, because the rivers frequently change course. The villages, therefore, consist of isolated dwellings, and the people, right from childhood on, are accustomed to living on and in the water. Fish, popularly known as Ganga Pal, the fruit of the Ganges, abound in the rivers, lakes and bills of East Pakistan. Of the freshwater fish, the most delicious is the tiny hilsa, the silver harvest of the rivers. In the many lakes, larger fish are caught, and in complete contrast to West Pakistan, fish provides a big part of the staple diet for the people of East Pakistan. Along its broken coastline, marine fishing is important, providing food for the population of the country and a valuable export to India, Burma and Malaysia from the fish markets of Barisal and Chittagong. Chittagong, with a splendid natural harbour in the Bay of Bengal, able to handle large ocean-going vessels, is East Pakistan's chief seaport. 
through the port go the main exports from East Pakistan. Jute, timber, including bamboo and cane, and of course, tea. North of Chittagong is the Silhet Valley of Surma, bordering on Assam. The well-drained deep soil of these slopes is ideal for the successful cultivation of tea, the second important cash crop of East Pakistan. Some 30 million pounds of tea are exported every year, mainly to Britain and other markets in Europe. The tea bush cannot withstand stagnant water or frosts, so the estates are confined to the lower slopes of the hills. After picking, the leaves are taken to local factories in Silhet for curing and packing, or to Chittagong. The Kanafuli River is the best way of travelling to the low hills of the Chittagong hill track. Heavy rainfall and high temperatures produce a lush, evergreen jungle full of bamboo, garjan and teak. Teak plantations cover a wide area, for this wood is valuable for constructional purposes and for good furniture. During the summer months, the land mass of Asia becomes very hot. The air above it heats and rises. A deep trough of low pressure is formed in the west of West Pakistan. The cooler, heavier air from the Indian Ocean moves in to take its place. The Arabian Sea winds flow in over West Pakistan, the Bay of Bengal winds over East Pakistan. In winter, the situation is reversed and light dry winds blow south and southwest across the subcontinent. These winds are called monsoons, after the Arabic word mausum, meaning season. The summer monsoon, especially in East Pakistan, has an important effect on the life of the people. Striking the Chittagong and northern hills, it causes heavy rainfall, often accompanied by cyclonic storms. Such heavy summer rains sometimes bring misery to the river areas by causing floods. More than three quarters of the annual rainfall takes place in this period, June to September. The highest annual rainfall is at Lalakal in Silhet, where the monsoon winds rise suddenly against the Assam hills. The average is 255 inches, more than eight times the average annual rainfall in Europe or the United States of America, 12 times as much as in Lahore, and 30 times as much as in Karachi.